14 crazy animals your glad are extinct. Number 14. Megalodon. While never quite reaching the same length as the sperm whale of today, the Megalodon was far heavier, capable of reaching a weight of 60 tons. Among predators, it is the largest shark known to have existed in the history of the planet. With 7-inch teeth and a jaw 10 feet in diameter, the Megalodon was capable of consuming some of the largest sea mammals of its day. Based on fossil remnants found on all six continents, scientists estimate the Megalodon went extinct just over 2,500,000 years ago, mainly due to a drop in sea temperature that depleted its primary food sources. Number 13. Dunkleus Tesis. Known for its armored head made of thick boned plates, the Dunkleus Tesis sustained itself by gobbling up entire schools of fish. The literal sheer force of its bite was capable of severing flesh faster than any other sea predator of its time. This, added to its stealth and the fact that it could open its massive jaw in less than a second, made the Dunkleus Tesis inescapable. When numbers among smaller prey were depleted, evidence suggested that this master of the sea resorted to attacking other mammals of its own genus, making it an occasional cannibal. Based on traces of the Dunkleosthesis found in North America, Europe, and North Africa, it went extinct roughly 360 million years ago as a result of a decrease in oxygen levels in the ocean. Number 12. Smilodon. Striving from the early Pleistocene period until about 10,000 years ago, this 11-foot-long saber-toothed cat is often mistakenly categorized as a tiger, despite actually being a distant ancestor to the cheetahs and lions known to humans today. While its formidable teeth were highly effective in warding off competition for its food, the Smilodon's signature incisors were too weak to act as a shredding mechanism. Its primary method of taking down its targets came in stalking from above using tree branches. It would then pounce on its prey and use its teeth to puncture the jugular vein. It remains a subject of debate as to whether the Smilodon hunted alone or in packs. The iconic feline disappeared during the Quaternary Extinction. Number 11. Helicoprion. Capable of growing to 35 feet in length and instantly recognizable for its 360 degree wheel of teeth, the Helicoprion is the only known mammal with any such jaw structure. This led to its nickname among experts as the Buzzsaw Killer. In vertically and upwardly slicing its prey, the Helicoprion's lower jaw performed the dual function of severing its food and then pushing it up into the shark-like creature's unique curved esophagus. Its additional fin structure allowed it to spring towards its prey in what is often described as an underwater sprint. Despite surviving the extinction event of the Permian-Triassic crossover, the Helicoprion died out for unclear reasons about 230 million years ago. Number 10. Pulmonoscorpius. With a name that translates to breathing scorpion, Pulmonoscorpius is believed to have reached its irregular size during the Carboniferous period, during which there was an increase in available oxygen during development. Beyond its size, the only qualities that differentiate it from modern scorpions are its eyes, which were better developed and made Pulmonoscorpius a more adept hunter. Though the toxicity of its venom is an unsettled matter in the scientific community, many consider this frightful predator to have been powerfully poisonous due to the thickness of its tail compared to its smaller pincers. Despite its primary food source being up for debate as well, there is no doubt that it was carnivorous. Even more surprising than its appearance is the environment in which Pulmonoscorpius was found to have lived, modern-day Scotland. The only reason researchers have a comprehension of its full form comes from how well fossilized its skin became after shedding. Number 9. Forest or Hasidae. It's hard to imagine wanting something widely known as the terror bird as a household pet. Domineering and flightless, Forest or Hasidae would have towered over modern ostriches and probably traveled faster. This has led to many comparisons with the popularly known Velociraptor. Its bone-breaking beak could lacerate flesh easily and allow it to scoop meat into its mouth. Believed to have traveled in packs, Forrester Hasidae benefited from large nasal chambers that allowed them to communicate with one another over long distances. Although its hearing was almost unmatched by birds of its time, the Forrester Hasidae suffered from an inadequate sense of smell, which may have contributed to its eventual extinction. Number 8. Arthropleura. Considered to be the biggest bugs ever to live on land, Arthropleura were millipedes that could grow past 6 feet in length. Benefiting from the same spike in oxygen levels that allowed Pulmonoscorpius to achieve its size, Arthropleura inhabited and protected themselves among deep vegetation. Despite the belief that Arthropleura were herbivores, their intimidating appearance has inspired illustrations of countless fictional monsters. Arthropleura died out in the early Permian period as a result of the dry climate eliminating their plant-filled habitats, on which most creatures of crustacean ancestry depend on for survival. Number 7. Meganora Meganora are the largest flying insects ever to have existed, flexing a wingspan of over 30 centimeters. They are scientifically categorized in the family of griffin flies, despite their notable resemblance to dragonflies. 
Meganeura haunted small amphibians as well as other invertebrates. Discovered mainly in France, experts believe Meganeura to have been the dominant insectivores of their era. They became extinct when oxygen levels plummeted at the conclusion of the Permian period. Number 6. Mega Piranha Based on fossil evidence found in South America, the Mega Piranha is believed to have thrived throughout the Miocene Epoch. Although it remains a matter of debate as to whether the Mega Piranha was an herbivore or carnivore, its appearance makes it objectively terrifying. It was three times larger than even the most similar species of piranha found today, weighed up to 22 pounds, and had a stronger bite than that of the Tyrannosaurus rex. A favorite among aquatic paleontologists, the Mega Piranha went extinct when the Andes Mountains formed, separating the Amazon Basin from the Piranha Basin. Number 5. Titanoboa with a length of 45 feet and an estimated weight of over 2,500 pounds, the discovery of the first Titanoboa fossils in a Colombian coal mine in 2003 rivaled those of even the most widely recognized dinosaurs. This unparalleled reptile lived in South America's Cerejon region, today a mostly dry outback that was once discovered with rainforests and deep flowing rivers. Resembling a boa constrictor, it moved like an anaconda. The availability of a warm climate and heavy rainfall with little seasonal change allowed the Titanoboa's metabolism to increase its growth. By crushing and suffocating even the largest water and landbound creatures in its environment, the Titanoboa quickly became a dominant predator. Falling temperatures and the drying out of its habitat led to the Titanoboa's extinction at the end of the Paleocene Epoch. Number 4. Camaroceros. Instantly recognizable due to its shell measuring almost 20 feet in length, traces of the Camaroceros have been found in central China as well as various parts of Europe and North America. Ranked among the largest cephalopods ever recorded, it inhabited the sea during the Silurian period ultimately disappearing roughly 420 million years ago. Its solid cone-like shell widely differentiated it from modern soft-headed squids and octopi. Strong and far-reaching tentacles grew out from the base of its head, allowing it to quickly crush and suffocate its prey. It has not been determined whether or not the Camaroceros had eyes, creating a mystery as to how it hunted given that cephalopods are visually oriented creatures. Number 3. Sarcosicus. Popularly known as the Super Croc, the Sarcosicus was capable of growing up to 40 feet long. While crocodiles living today achieve an average lifespan of 25 years, this supreme carnivore was capable of living until the age of 40. Adding to its uniqueness among the species, most of which meet their full size upon entering adulthood, the super croc never stopped growing. Its two main food sources were lobe-finned fish and land-dwelling dinosaurs. This required considerable speed in both environments. It's hard to imagine a prehistoric beast that would have been threatening even to the dinosaurs, but the Sarcosicus's long, thin jaw made it a dominant presence in the animal kingdom until the Cretaceous period, when a change in climate depleted its food source and ended its reign. Number 2. Mosasaurus Largely considered the most fearsome water-dwelling dinosaur, the Mosasaurus is a distant relative to the Komodo dragon. Distinct because of its size, up to 60 feet long, and its quadruple flipper fins, the Mosasaurus adapted shark-like tails that increased its underwater speed. Unlike most other aquatic life, the Mosasaurus needed to regularly come up to the ocean's surface in order to breathe, limiting the depths at which it could hunt. Surviving on a diet of other sea mammals, the Mosasaurus died out along with all the other dinosaurs during the Cretaceous Paleogene extinction. Number 1. Quetzalcoatlus One of the largest winged creatures to ever live on Earth, the Quetzalcoatlus was a pterodactyloid pterosaur that glided over what is now North America during the latter half of the Cretaceous period. Because it was unable to actually take off from the ground, paleontologists believe the Quetzalcoatlus sprung itself from high places and then used its wings to drift down over its prey. Taking its name from the serpent god Quetzalcoatl of Aztec myth, it displayed a wingspan three times the length of the Andean condor. That's about 36 feet. With an added weight of up to 300 pounds, the Quetzalcoatlus would have been strong enough to pick up a fully grown man and carry him off with ease. Subscribe for more videos.